Hi everyone, good to see you again this week. So this is the last day of the Christmas season. So really I could say Merry Christmas again and, and it would be an okay thing to say. We still have our white. I still have Mary and Joseph. Um, let me ask you this. Have you ever noticed the pictures on this board that's behind me? Yes, there's a picture of Jesus and a flower, but the other pictures are those of my family. I have recent pictures of our children here but like all moms, I have pictures at home and on my phone of them since they were little tiny babies doing things like playing sports, receiving their first Holy Communion, graduating. We were pleased with them as they grew up and we are pleased with them today too. I have pictures at home and on my phone of when they were baptized too. Have you ever been to a baptism? What happens at a baptism? So the child is dressed in white, the priest um, anoints the child with holy oil and baptizes them with holy water. Let me show you this. This is, this is the baptismal gown that I wore and our children wore when they were baptized. And um, that's something that you'll often see at a baptism is the baby, the person, will be dressed in white. And then um, here's a candle from one of their baptisms as well. So um, those are some of the things that you would see. So baptism is a gift from God. We are baptized in Jesus' name and our sins are forgiven. Today is the Sunday we hear what happened when John the Baptist baptized Jesus. So let's take a listen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. May Christ's words be on their mind, on my lips, and in my heart. When John the Baptist was baptizing at the Jordan River, all the people were filled with excitement and they wondered if he might be the Messiah. But John said to them, I am baptizing you in water, but someone is coming later who is mightier than I am. I am not even worthy to untie his sandal straps. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Then, after all the people were baptized, Jesus was also baptized. While he was praying, the Holy Spirit came to him in the form of a dove, and a voice from heaven said, You are my beloved Son, with whom I am very pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. And we all say, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So after Jesus was baptized, he prayed, and the Holy Spirit came to him. What did the Holy Spirit look like? Like a dove. Yes, the Holy Spirit also comes to us in baptism, even if we don't see a dove. We become members of God's family. God is our Father, and we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. As members of God's family, we take care of one another, and we welcome new members. Do you think God was pleased with his son Jesus? I know he was because the Bible tell us, tells us that he was. When Jesus was baptized, the Bible tells us that there was a voice from heaven that said, this is my beloved son with whom I am very pleased. God wasn't just pleased. He also says Jesus is his beloved. And that means he loves him a lot. So, you know, when we see these pictures of our family, they show things that our children did. But more than anything, these pictures show that these are our kids. They belong to us and we love them. So we trust in Jesus as our Savior. We become children of God. And just as your parents have pictures of you because you are their beloved, um, we need to remember that our baptism is like an official adoption ceremony. God loves us from the very beginning. And when we become his children, um, that's what he wants us to be. And God is saying to us, you are my son, you are my daughter, and I love you. God loves you. And that's pretty awesome, isn't it? I just wonder if God has a photo album in heaven with your pictures in it. 
God is pleased with you when you became his child. It's wonderful to hear God say, you are my child, I love you, and I am pleased with you. That's what we hear from God every time we pray. So let's go ahead and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And the response is gonna be, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the church will always be a light to those who are searching for direction in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish community that we may renew the power of prayer in our lives and be open to the work of the Holy Spirit in our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace on earth, the peace which Christ brings will become a reality for all nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those preparing for baptism, both infants, adults, and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish with the glory be today. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, this was the last Sunday of Christmas, of the Christmas season. So that means next Sunday is something different. So watch for the change in colors, okay? I'll see you all next week. God bless. Bye.